Hello, howdy and hooray. What's going on? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. And today we got something really cool from the people over at Gigabyte. And it's something very, very small. So when some people say, you know, good things come in small packages, well, in this particular instance, that is very true. Now, you guys may have heard about the Brix things from Gigabyte. These things have been out for a little while. They're like little tiny little computers that are basically based off the NUC. That's right. So I don't know if you guys know about that. It's the next unit of computing. It's Intel's latest, greatest thing. They've been promoting it for quite a while. Now, these guys have taken it a step further. So basically, this thing is like a NUC on steroids. And this is the Brix Pro. Now, this thing can be up to about $700, but it features a lot of cool stuff. It's got its own i7 processor in it. That's right. And it really does kick some serious butt as being a small little unit. So before I do the unboxing, let's first jump in real quick and let's go over the specs and just take a quick look. The dimensions are 62 by 11.4 by 114.4 millimeters or 2.4 by 4.3 by 4.5 inches. The motherboard itself is 100 by 105 millimeters. It features the fourth generation Intel i7-4770R 3.9 gigahertz CPU. For memory support, there are two SORDIM slots supporting DDR3L, 1333 or 1600 megahertz with a maximum of 16 gigabytes. The unit features a gigabyte LAN provided by the Realtek RTL811G. The audio is the Realtek ALC269. Graphics are provided by the Intel Iris Pro Graphics 5200. HDMI resolution is as follows, 4096 by 2304 at 24 hertz. The main display resolution is 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. As far as expansion slots, there's one M SATA slot, one half size mini PCI slot, which is occupied by the Wi Fi or Bluetooth card, and one SATA slot. The front IO offers two USB 3.0 and one headphone jack with SPDIF. The rear IO features one HDMI, one mini display port, two USB 3.0, one RJ45 jack, one DCN, and one Kensington lock slot. As far as the power goes, it uses an output of DC at 19 volts. It's also VESA compatible and the bracket is included. Support 75 by 75 and 100 by 100 millimeter setups. All right, folks, so those are all the specs. Now let's actually take a look at the unit. First, we'll look at the box. You guys can see it's a Gigabyte Professional Performance Bricks Pro Ultra Compact PC. Obviously, it's got Intel inside of it. What else would it have, right? Spinning around the back, which again, you can see some more nomenclature about it. Just talking about some of the specs that we already went over. Here back here is a little tag right here. The camera can zoom and get a close up of that because if you guys are looking to buy this, this is something you want to make take a look at. I don't know if you can scan your camera through, through the screen there. That'd be pretty cool though, wouldn't it? Get your little boop and scan it. There you go. So let's pop the little unit out of here. I don't think I need a knife or anything on this one. Nope, I don't. It slides nice and easy out of there. No friction, a little black box. It's Pandora's box and I'm going to open her up. Hopefully Pandora is in a good mood, right? All right. All right. There we go. There you go. Nice little box. It's coming to get you, get you, get you. Ah, all right. Moving forward. All right, inside we see there's an upside down thing there, but nope. This is your version of Windows, Microsoft, Microsoft Corporation, Windows Pro 8.1 x64 in English. So that's pretty cool that it came included in there. And thank you very much, folks. Pop that off to the side. Let's go ahead and just start pulling stuff out of the box one little unit at a time. I guess it doesn't want to come out like that. So I'll just turn the box over and make it nice and simple for myself. Oh, and then we do going to have some accessories and stuff falling out, but what the heck, right? All right. Set that off. All right, yada, yada. So here we go. Power stuff. Every little thing needs a power. So here is the power source for the Brix Pro. Talked about in the description. It's going to plug into your unit right there. So they're actually a very small and right brick. It comes from the SPS group or FSP group rather, excuse me, I'm getting dyslexic there. And here's just the power cable. Whoa, which I uh, happened to drop like a, like a silly guy on the floor. So here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Yada bing, yada boom. Yada, all right then. Set that off the side. There's the power part over there. Next up, we have different various parts for obviously adding the drives and all the different parts to it. This one right here says, uh, it's a rubber seal included in package for headphone use. 
So uh, this is something for your headphones, kind of interesting. Screws right here, obviously for doing one of the drives and then more screws right here. These look like the ones for your SSD. So we can get those out of the way. A metal plate, this way up. Obviously for mounting your drives and everything on, set that off. Then we have the Gigabyte, the Bricks Pro Ultra Compact PC Kit. This is the quick start guide. Probably gonna tell you how to do everything inside of it, how to put it together and all that stuff, how to take it apart. I may have to read it. I don't know if I will have to. Hopefully I won't have to. It says I'm gonna need a screwdriver. So if I plan on taking it apart, I will have to get a screwdriver. But uh, basically gives you all the instructions and everything. Shows you how to install the memory and all that stuff. But this thing's gonna be very, very simple. I mean, sodium just pops in like a laptop and this thing is essentially, you know, a, a really super duper laptop in a box without a screen. So let's keep going. Let's get to the unit itself. And here we go. Remember? Very, 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 very small. We got a little package here. There we go. All right then, cool though. Right in the front, we see we got the first of the USB 3.0. Here's your spit if out right here, headphone jack. Whichever you need, it's right there in the front. You can see a little vent here for putting out some of the heat. The vent continues along over on this side, as well as here. It has that new product smell. Here in the back, we have the HDMI, main display port, the LAN, two more USB 3.0 the power and obviously the Kensington lock. Here's the bottom of the unit where it says this way is up. The gigabyte model number, the serial number for the unit and all that stuff. All right, now here on the top, I'm just gonna remove this real quick here. And here we can see the power button. And it does look very elegant. You guys can see it's very small, very shiny. It's powerful enough to do quite a bit of things. All right, everybody, so that's pretty much it. And this thing is the Bricks Pro. You guys can see it's small, it's elegant. It's gonna be one of those things that you wouldn't almost even notice. And since it has such a high, powerful processor, it can do quite a bit. Now, the onboard video, obviously the HD 5200, you're not gonna be able to play like your, you know, killer 3D, you know, first person shooters that are highest resolutions. But a lot of the games out there, such as you, these guys talk about Steam boxes and all those type of things, this will handle that pretty well, especially if you're just playing those third person games Games, a lot of those games will be able to be played on this without a problem or a hitch. Obviously, if you had a greater video card power, you could do more, but man, come on, let's be realistic here. This thing's super duper small. It's smaller than my hand, completely smaller than my hand, completely works powerful. It's under $700. By the way, if you're looking to purchase one of these, we'll have links down below in the description down below the like button, where there's a lot of different e-tailers you can pick one of these bad boys up for yourself. Now, all you have to do, like I said before, is add two things. You have to basically add your hard drive and you have to add your memory. Now, next week, I'm gonna bring you guys another video because I have another, another nuck, I have another nuck in the living room and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build both the nucks at the same time and show you guys that video. I probably won't do it with the GoCam. I'll probably have the camera just film it straight on because Anthony is the GoCam man, but we'll be bringing that to you. So that's pretty much it, folks. You guys have more interest in this, make sure you guys look down there in the description and check out all that stuff. I'm Elric, thanks for watching, man. Appreciate you guys viewing the channel. If you're not sudden like what you see, then hey, hit that sub button. See you guys later.